In this video, I'm gonna tell you about the greatest new product coming out to plumbers and homeowners nationwide that can help them save money if they ever have a leak. Now I've gotta tell you, I've been working with Conometrics for about five years now. We actually started talking in 2016. I think this is one of the most amazing products out there. And I think every homeowner in the nation needs to have this in their house. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you, number one, how to install it. Number two, why every plumber should be telling every customer they have about these. Cause not only will it save the customer money, but it is also going to let the plumber know when their customer has a leak at their house. So first of all, remote leak detection. How remote is it? Well, actually, after you install this unit, you can look at your phone and tell if you have a leak at a house. Now this is great, especially with everything going on right now when some people just wanna get checked to see, hey, with all the freeze and breaks, we don't know if we have any leaks out in the yard, under the house, in the irrigation system. The cool thing about this is it doesn't take long, it's not very expensive, and this is the future right here at our fingertips. So leak detection. The cool thing about the meter dog is it monitors water movement. So it can let you know immediately if you have a leak at your house. One of the big problems that we had during the ice storm, one of our customers had a flood at their house. They were in Cancun. They didn't get their water shut off till a neighbor noticed water pouring out of their house. That's way too long to wait. So what it does is it lets you know of instant leak checks. This thing is on your meter and anytime your meter turns, it makes note of it. Instant leak alerts. You can literally have your app notify you if your meter's turning. So if you're headed out of town, you can have your app set up where it lets you know if any water starts flowing at your house. And the cool thing is on the app, it lets you know your 24 seven water usage. So you can literally go in and look at it on a regular basis and understand how much water you're using, when you're using it, are you using more on certain days than other days? But the neat thing is if your water does not stop running, if your meter does not stop turning, it sends you an alert and lets you know, hey, you've got a problem. There's a lot of reasons why MeterDog is the better choice. So the big things that it does, it protects everything after the water meter. Once you put this on the water meter, if your irrigation tees off three feet away, it's gonna detect a leak in that and make you aware of it. It saves the time associated with these leaks. Meaning if you've got a flood damage, it's gonna help eliminate a lot of the big problems with a flood. You're gonna be able to turn off that water quicker because you're gonna know about it much, much sooner. And it can eliminate a lot of the catastrophic damage because you are turning it off sooner. I've literally had people had a toilet break but they weren't aware of it because they were asleep and it flooded the entire downstairs. You'll get an alert saying, hey, your meter has not stopped spinning and that's gonna be huge. Okay, so here we are out in the field. So actually, I love this thing. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up the box and show you what all we get with it. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the install. What I've got here is the meter dog. And I wanna be real careful opening everything up. So I have my quick guide for my install so I know what I need to do and I've got my meter dog and I have my magnet to turn it on and off. So this is what we'll do to get started. You can see by the instructions, what I need to do first is connect the sensor on the outlet side of the meter up close to the register, then put my antenna where it goes. Now I've done some things to my meter to make it where I can install my antenna up at the lid because I want a good clerk connection and then basically turn it on. So we're gonna go through the steps right here, but I open up my meter and look at it and right now i can see there's nothing running i have zeros registering it's a digital meter but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get the sensor and you see how much cable that i've got you see how much room that i've got but i want to get everything set up to where i've got the sensor right here to where i can get it right in position up by the register now i'm gonna have to dig out just a little bit because i'm gonna have to use zip ties to come down under this to secure it that way it stays right where i want it so I'm gonna get my zip tie in and pretty much started. Then I'm gonna take my sensor and get it curved side down, get it right in place, right up by the register where I want it. And then I'm gonna tighten up my zip tie. Now, Lori guys, that's all that it took. Now, I know that I've got it in the right position by looking at the directions. I know right where I want to be. I'm as close to the register as I can get. I've got my sensor lined up. 
Now the one thing that I did different here is I drilled a couple of holes in the top of my meter lid. The reason being, what I wanna do is I want it as close to the top as possible. Now, as you see, my top is real thick, so I'm gonna use two zip ties. Pull it in and get it started. Put my antenna where I want it. I've got it here, I wanna go ahead and just pull everything, make sure I got it good and tight. That way I know my antenna won't go anywhere. So now that I know, I've got this installed right below the lid, up towards the top, and everything is in place. I'm gonna go ahead and use the magnet and the quick guide, and we're gonna go through the end of the startup procedure. Basically, I've got everything installed, got the antenna placed as high as possible. I do wanna go ahead and turn it over, because that's the way that it'll be red. What it tells me to do is place this as shown on top of the meter dog. In 30 seconds, the red eye will flash, then it will turn green. Remove the magnet, it'll flash red and green. That tells me it's good. Once the eye is done flashing, place the magnet as shown. If the eye flashes green, then the unit is active. Remove the magnet before it flashes five times. So guys, this is literally, they've got a magnet in here set to trigger it and turn it on for you. Okay, so right now it's flashing red and green. It's communicating. It's doing everything it's doing for its initial startup. Once it's done, I will put the magnet back on. It should be blinking green. And I wanna remove it before it blinks five times. Flash four times, it lets me know that everything's good. So this is installed and it's installed properly. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything put back in place and we know things are good to go. This is a great product. This is a wonderful product right now with all the freezes and everything, and I know, it doesn't look like it right now. We're at about 70 degrees in Texas. Three days ago, it was under 30 degrees. So the good thing about this is, anybody who had these installed in their house knew if their house was flooding right then. And with the optional valve installed, they could have literally pressed a button and turned the water off. To me, this is a great product, and it's so much better than any of the other products out there this is the one that I think is going to change the way we do plumbing and find leaks and are aware of leaks every day in plumbing. If you've ever installed a meter dog, do me a favor. Leave me a message down below and let me know. Did you install it just like this? Is there something you did different? And did you actually install the shutoff valve with it? Because what we're going to do, we're going to come back, dig it up and install the shutoff valve right next to it. The good thing is the shutoff valve with meter dog also works on battery. That way, you don't have to be in the house or anything like this. One of my favorite things, again, about this install, it is cellular and it's battery. So it can be installed out here at the curb and I don't have to worry about it getting wet or losing power. Now that you've seen how easy it is and you see how it's installed, there's not a lot to it. Like I said, there is another valve that you can install that ties into the unit so you have access to turn off the water to your house immediately. That's what I wanna talk about now. The three big things that makes this so much better than every other unit out there. Number one, it's not Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi goes out at your house, you lose control. You lose communications with your remote leak detection system. The other thing is, it's battery powered. Now here in Texas, the water meters are out by the house, but even if it's right up by your house, even if your water meter is in your basement, you can put this on it, get a cellular connection to it, and you don't ever have to worry about a leak again. When you get notified of a leak, you can either go shut the water off or check your app and press a button and turn it off there if you have the valve installed. So Wi-Fi connection, number one, it doesn't take power. So you don't have to have a plug, meaning you don't have to run an extension cord out into your yard to plug it in. You want it as close to the meter as you can get so you control all the water on your property. This is great. With the cellular connection and with the battery that right now lasts over one year, this is gonna be the greatest thing out there. And I'm telling you guys, there's nothing else like this right now. This is a one of a kind system that does more than every other remote leak detection system out there. And the third thing, once you install that valve and you've got control from your app, all you have to do is press the button to turn off the water. Now, if you're a plumber or a homeowner and you've had a flood that caused so much damage, it just, it blew your mind. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know 
How long were you out of your house? What did it cost to rebuild everything? And do you see the value in a system like this? Because I'm telling you, if I had it on my phone and it says, hey, you've got a leak, and all you gotta do is press a button to turn the water off, that is gonna save me tens of thousands of dollars. Let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If there's value in here that you think can help other people, share this video out to them and let them know what's going on. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.